building a skyscraper in 19 days, or perhaps capturing parts of another country without fight and mutual consent. Today you learn how China has become a leader in the global construction business, how it profits from it, sets insane records, and what it all means. Enjoy the show! 20% of all investments in global construction come from China. According to analysts, by 2030, the amount the country will invest in various projects will exceed $13 trillion. But how did China achieve such massive figures? It's all about the country's leadership, which has acted very wisely. In the last century, China was underdeveloped, with the majority of the population living in rural areas, and urban residents were few. This issue needed to be addressed because the population was increasing while land area could not. The solution could be densely built cities with tall buildings. But at the time, the country lacked the technology of such projects. That's when the Chinese government came up with a brilliant solution. It created favorable conditions for foreign companies, leading to massive investments pouring into the country. This quickly paved the way for development. New companies with advanced technologies emerged in China. Cities were rapidly constructed, and the GDP per capita reached double digits. Instead of purchasing products from other countries, China started buying technology for production. This policy allowed the People's Republic of China to secure its position as the world's second largest economy and advance construction technologies to the highest level worldwide. But why do people turn to China for construction projects? Because they do things with quality, speed and cost-effectiveness. For example, the Chinese built a 57-story skyscraper in just 19 days. The speed at which the building rose was approximately three floors a day. No other country in the world has a construction company that can boast such an achievement. But how is it even possible? The secret lies in the building's modular construction technology. First, the foundation was prepared on the construction site. This, of course, took more than 19 days, actually several months. However, the walls and roofs were built in just that time frame. During the foundation preparation, a special factory produced modular metal structures. These modules function like pieces of a giant construction set, only on a larger scale. Once everything was ready at the construction site, the remaining building materials were delivered, and specially trained workers assembled the building in a strict sequence. By the way, the building's construction allows it to withstand a 9-point earthquake. The skyscraper features a centralized ventilation, air purification and air conditioning system. And the cost of constructing it is much lower than traditional methods. It's thanks to records like this that China claimed the top spot in the global construction market. Another speed record in house construction also belongs to Chinese construction companies. They managed to erect a 10-story residential building in just 29 hours. The building meets all standards and, as designers note, has a significant margin of strength. Naturally, the cost of building such a structure is much lower than using traditional technologies. The construction technology is exactly the same as with the skyscraper. However, in this case, reinforced concrete modules were used instead of steel. At the construction site, the foundation was prepared in advance, and then ready-made modular living units were delivered and simply assembled in the required sequence. That's how China set another construction record. In addition to constructing residential buildings and skyscrapers, the Chinese are also setting records in the construction of new roads and railways. The speed at which construction companies operate is simply astonishing. Around 750 meters of roads per hour. Such speed is achieved through special technologies and very well thought out and efficient management of work crews, as well as massive investments in laying new roads. Budgets for road construction are often tens or even hundreds of times higher than in any other country. In addition to this, China produces over 1 billion tons of cement per year. By comparison, in Russia, where construction is also progressing rapidly, only 70 to 80 million tons are produced. Furthermore, high-quality road surfaces are noted. Construction companies often claim road surface lifespans of more than 10 years, and in some cases, this period extends to 50 years. All this information is not pulled out of thin air. It is quite accurate. The reason is that when constructing roads, Chinese engineers adhere to all regulations, use only high-quality materials, and do not cut corners. For example, every road must have a well-thought-out drainage system to prevent water from accumulating on the surface. Additionally, only the most durable materials are chosen for road surfaces. Another crucial aspect of road construction, as highlighted by Chinese engineers, is the high-quality preparation and stabilization of the soil before work begins. The soil conditions can vary significantly from one place to another. If this factor isn't taken into account, 
the road surface could deteriorate within a few months. Therefore, road construction begins with thorough soil stabilization. Chinese companies demonstrate remarkable speed even when it comes to repairing existing structures. In Beijing, they replaced an entire bridge on a six-lane highway in just 43 hours. How is this possible? Again, it's due to efficient construction processes, preparation and a dash of resourcefulness. Instead of using the classical method of replacing a bridge where the old structure is dismantled first and then a new one is built in its place, Chinese builders employed a clever life hack. They didn't shut down the highway to build the new bridge. Instead, they brought a fully constructed bridge directly to the site. Over the course of those 43 hours, they replaced the old structure with the new one and resumed traffic. As the government notes, using the traditional repair method would have required closing the highway for a full two months. Since this expressway is a critical route in northeast Beijing, connecting the Ring Road, an express route to the airport and another important highway, closing it for such a long period would have been an unaffordable luxury. That's why a new technology was developed called integrated replacement, which reduced the work time from two months to just two days. Speaking of cement, in addition to China being the world's largest producer of concrete, they have a unique type. Scientists, in search of a more cost-effective and higher-quality material, developed a special mixture that includes natural soil. This type of concrete is referred to as green. Besides soil, it also contains various construction waste. According to development reports, this new material type will significantly reduce construction costs and speed up the process. Green concrete can be used in various applications, including traditional home construction, highway building, airports, railways, energy production, and many other complex technical projects. The new concrete type is already undergoing practical testing. Different Chinese construction companies are gradually implementing it. The developers assure us that this development will be more cost-effective than standard alternatives and will offer higher material quality. But we will only be able to determine that in practice after some time. In China, they not only use advanced technologies, but also enhance them. For example, the technology of building information modeling BIM, developed in 1986, was adopted by Chinese construction companies in 2002. By that time, other countries were already actively using it. However, as of our time, China is leading in the use of this technology. What is this technology? Building Information Modeling, or BIM, allows for the construction of buildings in the shortest possible time and at the lowest cost. Moreover, it promotes the more efficient use of existing buildings throughout their life cycle. When using BIM, a building is considered as a unified integrated object rather than a collection of separate parts. If you change a parameter like width, height or length, other related values automatically adjust to it. In addition to these benefits, BIM optimizes construction time, reduces costs, takes environmental factors into account, and results in seismic-resistant buildings. This technology also enables the creation of complex and uniquely shaped structures. For instance, the Phoenix Media Center in Beijing is a striking example, resembling a true twisted Merbus strip. The building features 3,800 glass panels of various sizes and has received numerous awards from various competitions. Chinese builders are not only using modular building technology to reduce costs and timelines, but also 3D printing to create actual houses. China became the first country in the world to use this technology, and analysts believe that 3D printing is the future of global construction. Among its merits are speed, low cost, and high construction quality. But how does this technology work? It operates in a similar manner to a 3D printer you might have at home. A robot constructs the walls of a building layer by layer from a special material, gradually rising upward. The resulting structure is exceptionally robust due to its monolithic nature. 3D printing doesn't require full human involvement. It only needs monitoring and material supply. China's 3D printers use recycled construction and industrial waste materials. The cost of such constructions is very low. Constructing an average-sized house using 3D printing would cost around $5,000 several times cheaper than traditional methods. One company even built entire neighborhoods in the city of Suzhou using this technology. However, detailed information about the printer's operation and structure is kept highly confidential by the Chinese, and any photos or videos of working apparatus are strictly prohibited. Only specialized personnel are allowed near it. China's approach to constructing massive bridges can be quite astonishing. 
For this purpose, they've developed a special machine. Of course, all construction begins with preparation. Initially, special supporting columns for the bridge are erected, which are responsible for holding the entire structure. This is mostly done using traditional methods and can be time-consuming. But the construction process beyond that point is incredible. A special machine arrives at the first support which holds the bridge span. The machine is positioned right inside a vehicle. It approaches the edge and deploys a specialized arm, which it uses to move the bridge span to the next supporting column. There, it extends another leg to support itself. In this manner, the machine quickly and efficiently installs the spans of future bridges. It's needless to say that this technology is extremely valuable. It eliminates the need for multiple heavy and enormous cranes, which can sometimes be challenging to position at construction sites. All that's needed is a single specialized machine to rapidly build a bridge. This technology allows them to cover kilometers of distance in just a few days. The machine performs everything automatically on behalf of humans. The quality doesn't suffer, and it reduces construction costs, since it requires fewer vehicles, less personnel, and less time. Typically, all of these factors come at a cost. In the next segment, you will discover why China is so actively advancing its construction industry. We've already mentioned that China urgently needs quality and fast construction due to its limited land area and a very large population. This problem becomes glaringly evident when you look at the real estate market in major cities. Housing prices on specialized websites can be shocking, as they are among the highest. However, China is not only pursuing these advanced technologies for domestic reasons. It's also a highly profitable business. Take Africa, for example. Many countries in Africa face financial and technological challenges. They cannot independently build significant infrastructure projects such as dams. Consequently, they turn to foreign construction companies for assistance. This is where China comes into play. China offers the best terms for both construction and financing. This is what other nations take advantage of. But where's the profit in this for China? It's quite simple. African countries cannot always reliably repay their loans. They have limited financial resources, and expensive construction projects add to their financial burden. There have been cases where a country's expectations to generate substantial revenue by building a new port, for instance, didn't materialize as they hoped. Interestingly, it was the Chinese who built this port in Sri Lanka. China forgave the debt but, in return, took control and ownership of the port for 99 years. The port's strategic location made it easy for the People's Republic of China to boost trade there and generate significant income. This is not an isolated instance of such actions by China. It might be part of their global conquest strategy, where weaker countries are compelled to offer their lands for use. For example, at that notorious port, both locals and Chinese work, but the locals receive significantly lower wages and don't occupy high-ranking positions. This is how China builds its construction-based business. Today you've learned about the impressive construction technologies that Chinese companies employ, allowing them to achieve remarkable records. It's fascinating to witness this development because what comes next might astonish you. Thank you for watching.